You know, once the temperatures around here dip below triple digits, we can't wait to get out and maybe do some hiking. This time of year is kind of prime for that. And as pet owners, we love to bring our dogs with us. Monique Conway with the Humane Society of Southern Arizona has some tips for us before we head out and also which trails are the best for our uh, four legged friends, which will be a lot different than <laughs> then if we were going alone, sorry, I really want to pay attention to what we're saying, but the fact that Rocky is eating out of the Kong is super duper cute. Uh, Rocky would be a great dog to take hiking because he, he needs an active family, right? Yes, absolutely. So Rocky's four years old and he's looking for his forever family. He were, he walks so well on a leash. By far one of the easiest dogs I have ever taken for a walk. He's very good on a leash. He loves to play. As you can see, he's some type of boxer mix, so he does have a lot of energy. We think that he would do really well with another dog that could help him, yes. you know, get that play energy out or maybe some older kids, probably older than eight, just because he does have so much energy. Yeah, so kids that can also run him <laughs> or another dog that can run him. Um, obviously, he loves Kongs with, uh, is it peanut butter in there? Yep, exactly. I love that because he was actually <laughs> looking for a second and was not even getting into the Kong. He's just, I'm going to keep looking until something happens. So if we do get Rocky is a, a forever dog or we also have an active dog at home, Home, we want to be careful when we take them hiking. So I know there's some tips. Right, exactly. So you always want to make sure that you pack enough water for you and your dog, especially in Tucson. That's always so important. And then for dogs, you want to make sure you bring their poop bags. Um, a lot of diseases spread through droppings left on the trails. So you want to make sure that you're picking up after your pet and that you're watching them that they're not eating droppings left from someone else. Yes. Um, also, you do need to keep them on a leash. That um, is the law. So make sure that even if your dog is well behaved and they are good off of leash, if you're on a trail in a public place or in a public park that is not designated for dogs, that they are required to be on a leash. Perfect. So we have the water, we have our poop bags, we've got our leash, we're ready to head out. Now I do need to go where I'm going. Are there some trails that you recommend? Yes, absolutely. So we have this great blog called Letters from the Kennel, and we have seven hikes in Tucson that we highly recommend. Um, it'll give full descriptions, the length, the difficulty. Um, there's like Canyon Loop Trail in Catalina State Park, and then there's also in Mount Lemon, there's plenty of trails that you can take your dogs on there. And that you're right. So depending upon uh, your dog, my dog would probably ask Asked me to carry him after a little while. <laughs> My Mastiff, uh, I don't know if I can carry 130 pounds. So I pick, better pick the right trail. Um, so on top of all this, you guys also have an event that's coming up. Yes, absolutely. So this Sunday we're doing dogs and dreidels, which is pet Hanukkah photos for your pets at the Jewish Community Center here in Tucson. We'll be there Sunday from 10 to 1. So you can go online and purchase your tickets. It's gonna be $10 per photo, and those photos will be emailed. And it's at the JCC, and you said we can't go online right now. Yes, absolutely. So you can go to our website, or you can even visit our Facebook page, and that'll have the link as well for the pre-registration. And who doesn't want more pictures of their dog? <laughs> <laughs> Says every pet owner. Uh, so, and of course, those proceeds will be coming back to you guys to help. Yep, absolutely. And, and then for anybody who's interested in Santa photos, those are gonna be next weekend. So mark your calendar, Pet Hanukkah this weekend, and pet Santa next weekend. Or do both because we <laughs> love all the dog pictures we could possibly uh, get. Now Rocky of course is up for adoption. Where can we come and meet Rocky if we want to do a meet and greet? He's at our main campus okay. which is 3450 North Kelvin. Awesome. So <laughs> Rocky who is loving this peanut butter. I am like dying right now. This is like <laughs> the best video. Let's just watch this for like a good minute on TV or maybe I'm the only <laughs> one that appreciates that. Ronnie, thank you so much for the tips and of course we'll go check out um, that blog again. Uh, not only the hiking trails but you guys always give great uh, tips and things that we can pick up from there. Absolutely. This is amazing. All right guys as we just discussed dogs and dreidels is happening this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Tucson Jewish Community Center. To learn more visit hssaz.org or give them a call at 327-60 Eight, eight.